Welcome students. Today we shall have a review on adverbs and kinds of adverbs. Adverb modifies the meaning of a verb, an adjective or another adverb. So how to find out the adverbs? Example, she speaks loudly. So here the word loudly, loudly modifies the word speaks. So speaks is a verb. It modifies the verb. Loudly is a adverb. The weather is fairly warm. Warm is a adjective. Now you see the word fairly modifies adjective. Fairly is an adverb and this is a adjective. He draws very lively. So here we see the word lively is an adverb and very modifies another adverb. So this is how we see adverb modifies the meaning of a verb, an adjective or another adverb. There are kinds of adverbs. First one, adverb of manner. Adverb of manner always answers the question how. It tells what manner an action is done and it is generally placed after the verb. So now we'll question how an action was done or in what manner an action was done. Sheila worked hard to win. Worked how? Hard. So hard is adverb of manner. The Rajputs fought bravely. How did they fight? Bravely. So bravely becomes adverb of manner. The boys rode well. How did they row? Well. Well becomes adverb of manner. So here are few words which tell adverb of manner. Bored badly, bravely, beautifully, carefully, clearly, easily, eagerly, frankly, honestly, happily, patiently, politely, peacefully, quietly, generously, greatly, sincerely, stupidly, secretly, tightly. So we add ly, we prefix ly to adjective to make it an adverb. So this is how these words are adverb of manner. Next we see adverb of place. Adverb of place always tells where an action is done or where an action was done and it is generally placed after the verb. The pure is sitting outside. Where? Where is he sitting? You get the answer outside and this is the adverb of place. I have to go far. Where do you have to go? Far. So far becomes adverb of place. Let's go somewhere. Where? Somewhere. This becomes adverb of place. So here are few words which tell the adverb of place. Inside, outside, upstairs, anywhere, outdoors, away, about, in, down, up, far, all these are the places, here, there, backward, near, forward, nowhere, overseas, so all these tell place and that is how these are the adverbs of places. Next we see the adverb of time, adverb of time 
always answers when an action took place and it is placed either at the beginning or at the end of a sentence we shall go tomorrow so it tells the time go when when and answers tomorrow adverb of time i rise early when do you rise early so that is the answer you get in the sentence for when and this is the adverb of time the salesman came late when did he come he came late that is the adverb of time so here are a few words we tell about adverb of time <clears throat> afterwards today recently yet late formerly tomorrow early just soon presently immediately now after shortly still before yesterday adverb of frequency adverb of frequency tells how often an action is done or how frequently an action is done here it is usually usually it is placed before the verb the milkman comes to our house daily it can also be the milkman comes daily to our house okay so how frequently he comes how often he comes it is daily so daily becomes adverb of frequency i call her twice i called her twice okay so how many or how often it is twice so twice becomes a adverb of frequency she is always late for college so how frequently always late for college the head headmaster was almost angry how often it is almost that is the adverb of frequency here are a few words which tell about the adverb of frequency frequently daily often once periodically normally weekly seldom constantly generally monthly always yearly occasionally regularly annually never rarely and so on next we see adverb of quantity or degree it tells how much or what degree or what extent a thing is that okay well so it is placed before a verb the old man seems very tired the old man seems very tired so it is how much it is very tired very is the adverb of quantity i am extremely sorry how much or to what extent extremely extremely becomes adverb of quantity sino is too careless up to what extent degree too careless too becomes adverb of quantity here are few words which tell adverb of quantity almost too very more as so most enough nearly entirely completely just hardly slightly fairly badly rarely deeply only much far enough so all these words tell about adverb of quantity interrogative adverbs interrogative 
Here our verbs ask questions about time, place, manner, number, quantity and reason. Where is the thief hiding? So it tells the place. Where tells the place? So it is asking about place. When will the bus come? Time. So when is asking about time? Why is she crying? Now why is asking the reason? How did you open this box? How is asking the manner? That is how we see where, when, why, how are the interrogative adverbs which ask questions about time, place, reason, manner. Next we see recognizing adverbs. Sometimes we are confused how to recognize adverbs or adjectives or prepositions or how are they placed in the adverbs. So here we just see the difference. Adjectives always qualifies noun, whereas adverbs answer the questions when, where, why, how, where. The boy runs fast. How does he run? He runs fast. Here the boy is a fast runner. So fast is describing the noun runner and it becomes a adjective. The guests arrive early. When did they arrive? Early. Becomes a adverb. He is an early riser. So we see the adjective early is qualifying the riser. It becomes a adjective. Try hard to succeed. Try how hard to succeed. Becomes a adverb. He is a hard man to please. So the word hard is qualifying noun man. So it becomes a adjective. Hard becomes a adjective. That is how we differentiate adverbs and adjectives. Sometimes we confuse them with the prepositions. Whereas preposition is a relative word. It relates. The boy is in the room. Okay. So this is a preposition here. Come in. Where? In. So it answers the question where? In. And it becomes a adverb. The boy climbed up the tree. Up relates the now, uh, subject and the object here and place the role of a preposition. The village is high up in the hills. Where? Up in the hills. It answers where? The boys ran down the road. So, here down is a related word and it becomes a preposition. Put your bag, bags. Put your bags down on the floor. Where? Down on the floor. So, we see that these prepositions in, up, down answer the question where and so they are adverbs. We shall now see the usage of adverbs. Some common errors in the use of adverbs. So here are the incorrect forms sometimes used but these are the correct forms. Nishan works hardly is put in an improper way whereas Nishan works hard is a correct formation of sentence using adverbs. You can also tell in a negative way Nishan hardly works is a negative form. Leopard, the leopard runs fastly is a wrong formation. Whereas the leopard runs fast. So the proper way of using adverbs 
is the leopard runs fast. The flight arrived lately gives a wrong formation. Well, this is the right formation. The flight arrived late. I shall be very obliged to you. The improper usage of adverb. I shall be much obliged gives a right formation and usage of much is more suitable with the word obliged. I shall be much obliged to you gives a correct formation. This task is too difficult. Two is placed wrongly and it gives an improper formation of sentence. This task is very difficult. Gives a right formation of sentence using adverb very. I generally wake up early than you. But here earlier is a right formation. I generally wake up earlier than you. Gives a right formation of sentence. I am need of sugar badly is a wrong way whereas I am badly in need of sugar badly the word ad badly adverb is placed uprightly after the verb and gives a right formation of sentence. This box is very heavy for me to lift. Here the word very is wrongly used whereas this box is too heavy. Is a right formation. Too heavy for me to lift. This movie is much interesting. Gives a wrong formation. Whereas this movie is very interesting. Gives a proper formation of sentence. He writes for quicker than her. Is a wrong way. Whereas he writes more quicker than her. Is a proper usage of adverb. She is somewhat tall for her age. Whereas instead of word somewhat you can use properly rather. She is rather tall for her age. So these are certain uh, usage of adverbs wherein people go wrong in communicating well. Next, pick out the adverbs. And we will also mention their kind. The bus stop, the bus stops near the tree. So, we will just underline the adverbs. Stops where? Near. Where tells the Place. So, this is the adverb of place. We shall, uh, when shall we meet again? So, here is a question formation. So, the word when is a interrogative adjective. The peacock dances gracefully how does it dance gracefully how gives manner i enjoy the game immensely immensely tells up to what degree you enjoy the game so it is adverb of degree I have met her once. I have met her once. Tells about the frequency. She looked up. Where? She looked about place. Next, it was quite good. How good was it? Quite good. Tells about 
degree. Okay. Next, we shall now begin to work. We shall now begin to work. So, now, friends, about time. Adverb of time. When? Now. How tall is Kutub Minar? So, you see the word how is an interrogative. Adverb. I rang them up several times. Several tells about how many or degree. It is adverb of degree. He therefore left the job. Gives the reason. Reason. Adverb of reason. The child set, slept soundly. How? How did the child sleep? Soundly. Tells about adverb of manner. I have looked everywhere. Where? Place. Everywhere. The man shouted angrily. How? How did he shout? Angrily. Tells about manner. Let us familiarize with adverbs. With the help of more exercises, fill in suitable adverbs. So, the answers are given in the square bracket. We will pick the suitable adverb for the given sentences. I have arranged all the books. So, the proper word would be neatly. I have arranged all the books neatly. Someone is hiding. The more suitable word. Inside. Someone is hiding. Inside. Please finish your work. You can use soon. Or please finish your work today. Both are up, right? Well, the sun shone brightly. In the desert, it seldom. Seldom rains. I dash do my homework. I always do my homework. Hurry, the bus is leaving. The bus is leaving today. She meets me often or she meets me rarely. Have you ever seen Taj Mahal? I have often been to London. Well, next, use interrogative adverbs to ask questions. So, sentences are given. We'll first underline the adverbs and then question the whole sentence to get the adverb as answers. The man lives next door. So, the adverb here is, where does the man live? So, it is, the answer will be next doors. So, where? It begins with the interrogative adverb where. 
does the man live? Next sentence, the train will leave very soon. The train will leave very soon. You have the adverb here, very soon. So, when, very soon. So, use the interrogative adverb. When will the train leave? Leave. So that you will get the adverb as answer. I go to office on foot. I go to office on foot. So we can underline the adverb on foot and frame a question for this sentence in order to get on foot as answer. I go to office on foot. How do you go to office? The answer will be on foot. Next, the prisoner was locked in the cell. Locked in the cell. In the cell tells about the place. Okay. So, where was the prisoner locked? get the answer as in the cell. Next, he hit the candle with a match. He hit the candle with a match. How? With a match. So, how did he light the candle. Okay. So, lit is the past tense of light. Then you get the answer with a match. He is coming next month. Next month tells the time. So, when is he coming? When is he coming? We get the answer as next month. Anu has come to borrow money. Okay. The adverb here is to borrow money. Okay. The reason will be the reason is to borrow money. So why has Anu come here? Why has Anu come? The answer will be to borrow money. He left his bag at the station. He left his bag where? That's the place. Adverb of place. Where has he left his bag. Use the answer at the station. So today we have learnt about adverbs, kinds of adverbs and their usage. Thank you.